COVID-19 is a disease that spreads from person to person when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. The disease can land in the mouths and the noses of people who are less than six feet apart from you. It's important to remember that anybody can get this disease. If you do get sick, it's important that you talk with your family members and you seek medical attention. This video will show you the steps you can take to avoid getting sick. Social distancing means keeping six feet of distance between you and others. Many people who have COVID-19 might not know that they have COVID-19. They might not feel sick and they might not look sick, but they can still spread the virus. Experts recommend wearing a face mask to prevent spreading the virus in public places or wherever it may be difficult to stay six feet apart, such as any public building, like a grocery store, a gas station, a pharmacy, or any type of transportation, like a car or public transportation, like a bus. Even if you are wearing a mask, it is still not safe to hug, kiss, or shake hands with anybody outside of your direct family and inside of your home. They'll understand that you're just trying to keep them safe. Wearing a mask protects you and those around you and anyone over the age of two is recommended to wear a face mask. In order to protect someone under the age of two, it is recommended that A, you don't take them out of the house if you do not have to, or B, cover their stroller or carrier with a blanket when you're out of public. Thank you. There are many different materials that you can use in order to make a face mask. There's these disposable masks that can be available to you in a lot of places that you might travel, like the grocery store. They might offer you one before you got there. Uh, there's also items that you can use around your home. Like if you have a bandana, you can fashion this into a face mask, fold it in half, make sure you cover your nose and mouth, and you got a face mask. Uh, even if you had something like a scarf just sitting around your house, you could fashion this into a face mask as well. Even if you have a t-shirt, you could cut off a piece and you can use the t-shirt as a face mask. Uh, the important part is that when you're going out and you can't socially distance, that you are finding a way to use some face mask while you're out there. It's also important to wear your face mask correctly. Wearing a face mask incorrectly can help spread the virus. Important things to note uh, when you are taking off your face mask or putting on your face mask, wash your hands before putting on your face mask. You wanna make sure that you have clean hands before you start applying a face mask to your face. Put it over your nose and your mouth and secure it under your chin. Try to fit it snugly against the sides of your face and make sure that you can breathe easily without restriction. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth when you're out in public. If I were to put this mask on, I'd wanna make sure that it covered my nose it came down over my mouth, tucked under my chin, and it fits snugly to my face. So I want to make sure that I take this spot right here by my nose and crimp it down to make sure that it's tight. You want to have as much tight coverage over your face as you can when you're wearing your mask. When you return home from a public place, it's important that you take your mask off correctly. If you have strings or you've got a bandana and it's tied behind your head, you want to make sure that you untie the strings or stretch the ear loops to pull it off. Handle your mask only by the ear loops and only by the ties. You don't want to touch the front part of the mask as that could be contaminated. It's also important that if you're using a cloth mask that you're washing it as much as possible. You can either wash it by hand or you can put it in your washing machine and both will take care of it properly. Be careful not to touch your eyes, your mouth, or your nose when removing your mask. Immediately wash your hands for 20 seconds right after taking off your face mask. It's important to also remember that you never want to borrow somebody's mask. Please help our community safe. Please help our community stay safe and remember to wear your mask and to help us slow the spread of COVID-19.